What's good, YouTube? Dre here with Different Gaming. Uh, we're going to bring you guys my tournament report uh, for from locals tonight. Uh, before I get into it, I'm going to give some shout outs out. Uh, huge shout out to Easy Gaming in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, very great shop. My first time being there, um, it was absolutely amazing. Like the atmosphere was great. It was spacious. Uh, they had a magic tournament and then the Yu-Gi-Oh tournament going on at once. Um, overall, excellent experience. I would definitely recommend sending any of my friends there, whether they live near or far, doesn't matter. Uh, I went X21. Uh, we had four rounds. First round, I played against uh, Constellar Firefist. Round two, I played against Drytron. Um, game one, I honestly could have won game one, but my opponent won. He won the Dairo, and he he just had the package. He had it all. And then game two, I opened up nothing but spells and traps. I had nothing to fight back. So that was a swift 2-0. Um, round three. Uh, round three was my draw. Um, played against Tribrigade. And round four, I played against um, Amazement Madolce. Um, if you're watching this, um, I'll leave the video over here or over here if it's reversed um, to DeAndre's amazing Amazement Madolce deck profile. The deck is awesome. Um, if you guys and gals want to see this guy's deck in action, smash that like button. Let, let us know in the comment section below. Uh, I'm going to give a, some more shout outs. I'm going to give a shout out to Corey, Kiefer, DeAndre, Tyler, um, Buddy Colton, of course, Carter, Tanya, and Tony, and AJ. Oh, and JJ. You, you know your names. If you're watching this video, shout out to y'all. Uh, y'all are amazing, down to earth, humble individuals. Um, I would def definitely love to stay in contact with you with y'all, um, if possible. Um, go follow Corey and his wife Tanya on TikTok. I'll leave the link in the description below. But and also shout out to Amanda Lapong for this amazing, amazing field center. Uh, it actually got some looks today and got some compliments and now I was very happy. It really put a smile on my face. And then got stickers from Tanya. Yeah. She 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 saw that I was a dedicated Shadal player and she said she had a surprise for me and it caught me off guard and these are the type of people that you want to keep around in your in your circle. This these are the people you want to stay networking with. And also shout out to Deck Tech for the awesome Mother Marie 420 special edition deck box. Uh Check out Deck Tech. Check out Amanda Lapone. Check us out on TCG Player. And I'm going to go ahead and get into the deck profile. Uh, to start off, we got two Squamata, two Wendy, two Ariel. Then for the one of we got the one Beast, the one Hedgehog, the one Genius. And then the one dragon. Um, the deck. The only time that I drew a bad hand was 
the in my drive trial matchup game two. That was the only time. Um, with the format being so balanced and you know hand traps being so predominant, you know Ash Baylor in perm doesn't matter. Um, you know they just had the right hand against me. Like there, there's there's nothing else to say there. Uh, for the spells, three Shadow Fusion, one L Shadow Fusion. Wouldn't change it. Um, absolutely love the ratio. Um, then the end off for the Shadow package, uh, Schism and Rush. Wouldn't change anything about the Shadow lineup. The Shadow lineup was perfect. Uh, perfect amount of names. It was just, it was perfect. Uh, for the invoke. You got Terraforming, three Magical Meltdown, three Alistair, and then two Invocation. Um, I I saw this whole package all night tonight, all night tonight. Um, of course Alistair got Imperm, Ash, Valor, anything you you name it, he, it happened to Alistair. So. It was okay though. I, I had a lot of fun. It was really good to actually get some meta tournament testing play in with the Invoke Shadows and the the Shadows performed awesome. Uh, for I play like six hand traps, uh, two Ghost Bill, two Nibiru, two Lancia, and two Ash. Oh, I played eight hand traps. <laughs> like I was saying earlier in the video, uh, hand traps are a very, very big force. Um, everyone is playing the hand traps. Like there's, there's no way around it. Um, and you have everything for everything. You have artifact uh, Lancia for your tri brigade, the mirror match, um, Solomon Gray. B Trooper, Virtual World, you got Ash for the same matchups, Nib for Dragon Link, um, <clears throat> I'm not even gonna say the Madolce deck because as he said in the video, what if you've seen the video, which I'll leave it in the video again, he, he got nibbed twice and he still won his matches. A uh, Ghost Bell for Travergate, uh, mirror match, uh, and other matchups that are relevant in the middle right now. Uh, for the spell cards, for the one o's, play the one foolish, one twin twister, one call by, instant fusion, and then two spellbook of knowledge. Um, wouldn't change anything about this. This is essentially uh, two call by the grave. I'll show you my instant fusion target. Um, yeah, I wouldn't change anything about this. Shout out to Pack for uh, the one of Twin Twister in the main. Um, I honestly didn't think of this or didn't start doing it until you know Pack won his event with Prank Kids with the main deck Twin Twister. Um, probably will bump this up to two if I do make a change. Um, but this really a high possibility if you like twin twister then or if you're a budget player and can't you know you don't have access to some of the cards um like shadow schism for instance you can play double twin twister it's okay and then for the last two cards of the deck which are tech cards which came in clutch tonight is Eldritch the Golden Lord and Io. These cards, especially Golden Lord, this this caught people off guard. Um, I even had a comment saying, oh, I like he texts the Golden Lord and it. I was like, yes. It uh, used the sin effect twice. Um, being able to send off your IO or say if you already use your schism and 
you want to get your schism back um, with your Shadal monster or however you want to recycle it. Um, send your schism, bring out Golden Lord, and it's a 3500 beat stick that can't be destroyed by card effects. So that's the deck. 40 cards for the extra deck token, my nib token, uh, Artemis, Gravity, Anaconda. Uh, Anaconda went through, I think, three times today. Uh, seeing all the links, it was very, it wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything about it. Like, that's the perfect amount of links. And I was actually, uh, just recently saying I, I wish I had another Link Monster in the deck, but I don't. Uh, for the Instant Fusion target, which essentially becomes your second call by the grave, uh, Millennium Minds Restrict. Shout out to Colton for uh, telling me about Millennium Minds Restrict and let me borrow the Restrict. Um, got to use it once, and that was versus Tri Brigade. Sorry, Tanya, if you're watching this, but... uh. Yeah, I opened up Insta Fusion with Combo, and uh, she went to Ash, my Alistair, I believe, and I uh, got her Ash from the graveyard, and then Link summoned for Anaconda, and went from there. Uh, for the Shadows. We have two app clone, two window, and two construct. Um, the only thing that I would change about the extra deck is bumping window up to three. Um, and I know what I would drop for it. Um, but for right now, this is great if you're really great at conserving your resources and not overextending when you don't need to, then this is perfect this is this is perfect ratio right here then for the invoked we have Caliga uh, never seen it never went into it never could go into it to be honest Um, but it's still a good card uh, in testing and in theory it's always good it's been good on DB for me uh, invoke Cockness I was trying to go into it uh, once but my invocation got ghost build so I wasn't able to go into it I think that's how it happened uh, but I would drop this for a third window because I would get more utility out of it um, but in testing, this card is really, really good. It can't be targeted by your opponent's card effects and it can't be destroyed by card effects. And it's 2,900 defense and can attack while in defense position. So probably keep that in inside the third window, you know. Uh, one invoke the Guades, one Raging, and then one Mechaba. Um, people always ask me why do I only play one Mechaba? Um, that's because I'm actually a semi-decent player and I know how to uh, properly use my cards. You know, just throwing it out there. Uh, if you have the experience, you've been playing the game for a little bit, then, you know, you, you can do stuff like that. Running one of a card that, you know, Others typically have a two of because they 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 haven't learned how to properly use the card uh, for the side deck, which is definitely subject to change. Uh, one Pancratops for going second, uh, two Phantasme for uh, links, even for the mirror match. Uh, just that one link summon can get you into uh, either your side deck cars or more of your engine. Uh, for back row, one Feather Duster, the second Twin Twister, and then two Cosmic Cyclone. 
uh, just pure back row. Then two Dark Ruler No More, two Super Poly with a Starving Venom, and then a Red Reboot. A uh, Red Reboot I uh, could have used, but I misplayed. Uh, Dark Ruler didn't see it, but it's still good, especially for the combo decks. Uh, you know, Dragon Link is still a thing. Drytron is a thing. And then just because I, I hate going minus one and you're already playing a, a minus one in the deck um super poly stays sided with the starve of venom because you, extra deck is already tight and you just side out either uh app clone or you just side out the cockness so you have two targets to be able to side out for the Star of Venom. Um, but that's the deck. And that's my match report. I hope you all enjoy the deck profile. I hope you all are definitely enjoying the content and the videos that we're bringing you. Um, hope you all are liking the consistency that we're bringing to it now. Um, if you're enjoying it, like, hit that like button, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified whenever we upload, and don't forget to comment your opinions or questions or anything in the comment section below. As always, peace.